That one. This one? Yeah. Testing. Okay. Testing. Yeah. So it definitely is. Okay, try it now. Joe, can you hear me? <laughs> So we are currently waiting to see if the audio is going to kick in. So if you're hanging out. Really understand. So he's able to get a kind of a glow and um, through his work, that's through his understanding of me. The main mic was off. Really it's on now. So it's on. He's able to get a kind of a oh, well. I can hear it. Well, I don't know. You, it's not coming from this one. There. I can hear it. Well, I don't know. You, it's not coming. You good? We're good? Okay, I think we're good now. So, our apologies uh, for not having that set up. This was, uh, we were kind of last minute having technical issues because our production guy is out of town. So, uh, all good, buddy? Yeah. All right, excellent. So, uh, for those of you who are on the fence and interested in taking the workshop, uh, this is an opportunity for you to write in and ask any questions you have uh, regarding maybe some of the technicalities of it. Uh, again, that's the audio issue only happens because our production guy is out of town. And so um, to be able to do this question and answer, we're uh, trying to wing it ourselves. And, uh, didn't do such a great job, but uh, for the workshop, the idea is uh, to have, I'll just kind of reiterate everything I was saying earlier, is uh, it's going to be nine hours spread out over three days, and it's May 10th through the 12th, and it's from um, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're super excited. We have uh, people joining us from over um, so in 17 states and uh, four different countries, including the U.S. So for us, it's a it's it's a huge um, blessing and opportunity to be able to open our doors to everybody. Uh, typically, with a workshop, you can only fit comfortably 12 people, and even at that, you oftentimes can't hear the instructor or you can't see what's happening. So. Um, this is an opportunity for us to be able to engage with you and tell you what we're going to be doing. Um, so again, if you have any, if you have any uh, questions, please uh, send your emails to us, info at eastoakstudio.com. And uh, there's going to be at least three cameras during the production. There's going to be one on my palette, one on my painting, and one on my face. So you'll be able to get a clear shot of everything going on. Um, for the people who buy the workshop, it's only available through the website, and it's $249. Uh, for the people who buy the workshop, they're going to have access to a link that will stay up on our website throughout the duration of our company. So as long as our website is up, you'll be able to go back and access the nine hours of video. Um, that's 
highly valuable because oftentimes in workshops people are distracted writing notes and trying to uh, catch what the instructor said and sometimes they're too timid sometimes they don't want to ask again uh, so with this format you can go back and revisit the the workshop as much as you want so uh, there's just there's many reasons that we're excited about it uh, it brings to the viewer uh, the opportunity also this we talked about this but the, the audio is out I'm going to take a picture of the setup at the beginning of the class and you'll have an image of what I'm uh, looking at so if you want to be able to um, join in and paint along with me over the three days and over the nine hours that uh, you'll be able to do that so in real time you'll be able to watch me and you'll be able to see on your computer uh, both what I'm doing and the image of the setup so you can uh, essentially paint along with me which can't happen in a workshop so that's that's a really big advantage um, we encourage you to, to send in your your uh, comments or questions I'll go through uh, as much as I can remember of what people have been asking the main one is that is it going to be uh, up and are you going to be able to see it after uh, the second main question is how am I going to go about painting and answering questions from the students so the way I, I thought about it is oftentimes during a live stream it's often distracting when the instructor or painter is trying to engage with the audience and uh, be focused on what they're doing at the same time so what I wanted to do was break up every hour with uh, so 45 minutes of painting and 15 minutes of answering questions. So uh, Lewis or Joe will be in back kind of filtering through the questions and, and getting a catalog of, of ones that they, from kind of top to bottom, will try to get to all of them. But uh, through the 15 minutes, we'll just kind of go through a series of things so that when I'm giving my demonstration, I like to talk about the things pertinent to what I'm doing. I want to go through the process exactly as I would in a workshop and as you all know probably from taking workshops uh, you don't there's not a constant stream of questions being asked from the uh, students taking the class oftentimes it's you know people will ask and there will be three or four questions but then the instructor will start up again so I wanted to keep it as you know, kind of true to the form of a real workshop as possible uh, with all the advantages, of course, of you being able to to see and um, uh, have just the best seat in the house. So, uh, if anyone wants to write in a question that's and that doesn't have to do with the workshop, since there uh, haven't been uh, a lot of questions yet, probably due to our little audio situation at the beginning. Um, if anyone wants to write in, oh, okay, excellent. So we have a question from um, Paul Barker again. Thanks for staying, uh, staying with us and hanging in there through the audio issue. Um, yeah, right. So he asked. Um, he said. If I get called away, will I be able to come back and revisit it at a later time? And the answer is yes. Um, I'm not sure if during the actual, you probably wouldn't want to do it and go back and catch up because then you would be missing out on the actual live uh, feed. So I would suggest waiting till the evening and just going back and rewatching the video. Um, it's quite a bit of content and quite a bit of footage because it'll be three hours each day. So. Um, you know, take that into consideration. It, uh, you don't want to get kind of behind what we're doing in the class. So, and also because we'll be answering a lot of questions from the other students, maybe there will be questions that you didn't think of that I'll be able to address, which will be really helpful. So we have a question on color mixing uh, from Rhonda. Thanks for writing in. She says. What will be covered on the workshop? How detailed will the mechanics of color mixing and materials be covered? Will there be any submissions on our part to get critiqued? So at this point, 
um, all of the information that I'm going to be talking about over the three days and over the nine hours, it's essentially going to be the exact same thing that I would go through in a normal workshop. Uh, it depends on what kind of questions are asked from the audience because that, that affects the conversation and the flow of what we talk about. But I'll definitely go through exactly how I mix my colors, what I'm thinking about as I mix, the formulas I use for flower painting, uh, thinking about chroma and value uh, and, and saturation, just how that affects the color harmony. Uh, there's so many things to just kind of go into, into that, that is going to be pretty, pretty exhaustive. A lot of people, um, you know, have issues with mixing color. That's a, and I, I'm a real stickler about organization of palette and understanding why you have certain colors on your palette. Uh, so that'll definitely be uh, discussed. Uh, the idea of the participants sending in their uh, images or their paintings to be critiqued, uh, that may be an extra service that we offer after the workshop. At this point, it's, it's going to be more uh, content heavy for you all at home. Um, really with the opportunity to be able to write in and send your questions. Uh, that's where the kind of advantage is going to be. Uh, the way we thought about it is in order for people to fly to Raleigh and take a workshop, you typically, by the time you end up paying almost $600 for the workshop, uh, hotels, food, and flight, you're anywhere between $1,200 and $1,500 to take a workshop. And essentially, this, this allows you to be able to paint along with me in your studio and hear every little uh, snippet of information and to be able to go back to it. So that's really going to be, I think, a huge advantage for you all. We're really excited to be able to introduce this format. Um, if, if any of you uh, haven't seen the live stream test that we've done in the previous uh, last couple of weeks, you can go to our website and, and click on uh, the live stream section, and there the links are there. So, or just scroll down from where you're at right now. I think if you are viewing this, um, so uh, Lewis, next time I'm just thinking out loud, but next time we should do if it's a live question answer, we should um, maybe you can do a, a Instagram feed if you want to tell people that I'm, you can do it now if you want. Uh, or I was thinking we should almost do the video public as opposed to, um, yeah, right now it's private. So I'm just thinking about anything else I could talk about that would be, uh, that would be able to answer some of your questions without actually having a list of questions here. Uh, again, I'm going to be going through uh, my palette uh, composition will be discussed. Um, just how I always set up, talking about kind of background choices and why I never paint fabric in my paintings, things like that, aesthetic decisions that uh, I take or think about as I'm uh, contemplating the subject matter. Um, uh, brushwork. Brushwork is a huge uh, part of. Um, what I think about and how I think about painting and the layering of paints and, and the use of uh, medium and how to thin out the paints to be able to uh, get an effect that would be uh, a technique that's called glazing. I'm sure many people are familiar with it. If you're not, uh, more reason to take the workshop. Um, uh, just any other, I'm just thinking technicality stuff. Uh, it's going to be on our website. Uh, it's only going to be available to the people who take the class. And um, yeah, that's. I want to encourage the people who are watching to write in. You don't have to actually buy the workshop if you're watching right now um, and you want to ask me a question. Feel free to to shoot me. Uh, email at info at eastoaksstudio.com um, and I'll address your question. The uh, I'm actually going to do 
Did you do an Instagram live? No, I was I'm gonna do it. On questions on YouTube because Joe asked me to. Oh, are there some? I couldn't find any. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live on. And. Um, <clears throat> All right, so uh, everybody here on Instagram, if you shoot over to um, eastoakstudio.com, you can join our conversation and ask some questions if you want. Right now, if you go to the website, uh, either in the link or um, the, the link in my Instagram profile or just go to eastoakstudio.com and check it out. You'll be able to join us for a live stream. So we have, see we have all this stuff going on in the studio. So uh, join us if you want over there. I'm gonna keep this uh, feed going because it's definitely much more active than the uh, live stream right now at the website. So uh, was there a Question. Mm -hmm. I think if I click out of this now, I'm going to lose the audience. Uh, again, I encourage all of you who are on here to jump over to East Oak Studio and uh, check out the live stream. Everyone's waving a wave back to Elaine and people I see on here. So. Richard Vegas. Richard Vegas okay. says, "Have you decided upon a subject, floral or still life?" Yeah. And so for the upcoming class this weekend, it's definitely. Uh, it's going to be a floral painting workshop. So if you haven't heard about it or seen the trailer or anything, it's, uh, it's going to be a three-day class from Thursday to Saturday, uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, we're live streaming now from the website, so eastoakstudio.com. I have Instagram on here because I'm trying to get people to tune in on the website. So, uh, but it's going to be a flower painting workshop. So it's going to cover the exact same content that uh, I do in my normal workshops. Um, essentially over three days uh, we'll go through from start to finish an entire painting and um, the audience will, uh, the people who have signed up, we have quite a few people uh, signed up from I believe about 17 states and four countries currently. So it's a great opportunity to, uh, if you can't come to the studio, then you can join us via the website. So I'm going to jump off of here, go to the, the are there any, do you want to just give me a heads up if there's any questions? Uh, just like raise your hand. Okay. All right. So this, this uh, to encourage everyone on Instagram, Jump over to East Oak Studio if you can and check out the quality of the live stream that we're doing. I think you'll enjoy it and shoot me a question there. Um, it's much better than this selfie camera that you're watching right now. <laughs> Just a matter of getting the word out. <laughs> can't, I can't send too many email bombs. I don't want to upset people. So, <clears throat> If anyone has never uh, seen the inside of East Oak Studio. This is, this is what it looks like. This is our desk back here. And fridge, kitchen, goes way back. Louie's back there. Got the cameras set up. Got the showroom back there. Beautiful windows that shoot in lovely light during the day. So, all right. I'm going to go back to my um, questions here and see if I think you just hang out on live stream all day so that people can have the opportunity. <laughs> all right. Awesome. We love you, Rhonda. Thanks for sending another question. Uh, will there be a list of materials? Yes, uh, I will also. Um, go through step by step and explain everything that I'm using uh, but I can send out we're planning on sending a PDF of my materials all my paints everything that I used during the live stream so that's a we'll definitely do that uh, 
And then uh, will there be a range of colors? Uh, that will depend entirely on what flowers I get that morning. Typically there's always uh, at least three or four different colors that I would probably use in a, in a setup. Uh, you obviously have the complexity of the greens, which are the leaves, and then you have uh, the subtlety of the background. And depending on if I paint any violet flowers or magenta flowers or uh, orange or yellow or, or whatever that is, then it'll, it'll be discussed and talked about during the workshop. Uh, if time allows, which I'm more than certain there will be, because it'll be quite a bit of time to go through a lot of material, I may be able to do um, uh, an example of the flesh tones that I mix. So I could talk about the difference between when you see high chroma in nature and uh, in things like flowers or uh, uh, the, the flesh mixtures that I have and in, in, in how I think about flesh, the difference of the two. So that can definitely be discussed. Um, don't hold me to it, but the, the more than likely I can go through it. Uh, it's very much going to be similar to uh, a normal workshop where the, the ebb and flow of the workshop is depending on what the, the viewers want to ask me and what we want to talk about. So sometimes there's questions about galleries that we talk about galleries. Sometimes there's questions about why do I paint flowers. Uh, it's not always just technical stuff. There's oftentimes conversations and things happening that are, um, you know, up outside of art, and and that can be really, that can be really useful. So I'm going to go back to. All right, we're back, back live on Instagram. What time is it, Louis, buddy? Sorry, I don't want to. 6.34. Okay, so we'll we'll wrap it up in a little Just bit. Past 30 yeah, so we got a little bit of a late start because it was 10 minutes late, but yeah. So everyone picking back up and joining. I don't know if uh, you caught the tail end of the last conversation or or the last um, little snippet of what I was discussing, uh, but we're live streaming right now from EastOakStudio.com, uh, so you should definitely check it out. It's much better resolution than this little, uh, I just know what you think, so. It's got poor internet quality. Is it? You know, I was thinking about that very thing that I was thinking, you know, every time we've done this, it's been good. The first time there was slight audio issues, but um, this is a good test if that's the case, because we can hook up the Ethernet connection. Uh, it may only be on there because the program adjusts for it on. So let me go click on YouTube really quick. So again, the idea of this question and answer uh, is to um, be able to send us your um, questions about the upcoming live stream workshop. If you're on the edge about it and you want to if you want to join us and you're not sure if you want to invest the 250 bucks, the idea is to be able to see what we're doing and um, make a decision through that. Uh, so essentially with the workshop, we're going to have a camera on my painting, a camera on my palette, a camera on me talking so that you're going to be able to see everything and hear everything. And part of uh, the reason why we're having slight technical issues tonight. It's because it's Lewis and I de doing it, and um, and our producer is out of town. Joe Hawkins is partying it up in Austin. So we miss you, buddy. Uh, all right. So um, this is a, a local question, and they were asking about where I get my flowers and if we're going to be participating in what they call here locally it's a for it's an event that's kind of like an art walk um, and it's called first fridays and um, we at east oaks currently don't do first fridays due to um, some of the limitations of the building it's a little bit complicated but uh, the scenario we have set up we just don't offer it uh, 
but the the people that I've been buying flowers from that I'm really happy about is a company called Wild, W-Y-L-D-E, and they're located in downtown Raleigh, and um, they have nice, nice bouquets. And it's their their uh, their aesthetic and their style is a contemporary uh, bouquet design or floral design, uh, so that allows me not to have to worry about it so much. If I have someone else designing my setup, I think it, it helps. It takes a little bit of stress off the plate. So Linda uh, asked about what kind of, what size palette I'll be using. That's a very interesting question. Um, I sometimes use a big palette and I sometimes use a small palette. Uh, in this workshop, I believe I'm going to be using my larger palette uh, and there will be a camera on that one so you'll have just a full shot of everything that I'm mixing. So thank you for sending that in. Uh, we have another question from uh, Paul and he's excited we're doing this to test the live streams. Uh, that's great. Uh, uh, quick suggestion. Uh, he says, like Fenton Latour, Sargent, etc., it's great to hear who influenced your painting approaches and style. Uh, definitely. So that's, that's a perfect example of um, Paul's tuning in, and he's kind of corresponding. And, and so he's able, he's sent three, three uh, questions, and we appreciate it. And, uh, and so that's the kind of interaction that we're going to be able to offer. And um, we can talk about artists. We can talk about... Uh, my influences, uh, such as Fenton Latour and Sargent, um, and what I pull from their work, and and what I choose maybe not to do, because I, I definitely um, am really careful not to copy other artists. It's so easy for 21st century artists to just kind of want to mimic something that they really love, and um, so I, I try not to uh, paint exactly like. Fenton Latour or Sargent. Uh, I think that's important to have your own voice. So we have another question from uh, Rhonda again. Thanks for writing in a second time. Uh, so it, you asked, Rhonda asked, if we've not been through the atelier system and at that level, is it going to be out of our depth? If we don't have all those skills or know all the terminology or completely understand all the components of painting, will it still be appropriate? And my advice and my suggestion would be absolutely. I think anytime you can uh, witness um, whether you, you, you know, consider my painting to be uh, masterful or just really good or whatever, it, I think anytime you can witness an artist paint something, it's uh, just, I would jump at the opportunity when I was a student. Um, the first schools that I, were, uh, that I was at, there was not a lot of demonstrations, and I really felt like it, it was missing in the curriculum. And then when I got to New York uh, and I saw Jacob Collins paint for the first time, it was just, um, you know, revolutionary. It was mind-blowing. And I think that uh, being that um, you can pick up just some minor stuff. It uh, really is, uh, I would say, of course, I would encourage you to do it because that's the, the point of this is to be able to have access to what we're doing here. But I think, um, I think there are times uh, where I would, I would encourage this even more than just a normal workshop because, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to be able to go back and view the video and you're going to be able to uh, spend time with it after the workshop is done. So it'll be a really uh, big advantage for you to, to invest the $250 to be able to, to join us this weekend and, and uh, see what we're up to here. So I think that that was pretty good. I'm, I'm imagining that there will be a lot of people who will um, tune in to this uh, lay, at a later time just because they couldn't join us live. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, really excited about uh, just more content. And so I would encourage you to uh, sign up to the workshop before Thursday because it's not going to 
you're not going to be able to, to purchase it afterward at this point. We're going to leave it uh, just for the people who are signing up and see how that goes and uh, keep it that live experience. I think that that's really valuable. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to check it out this weekend, uh, Thursday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, any questions you have before uh, Thursday morning, before we go live, um, send us questions. And there will be a cutoff point to probably around, I would say, 8 o'clock Thursday morning, just because we got to get things organized and, and we can't um, keep track too much of, of the people. I don't want to miss people at the last minute. So uh, try to sign up Wednesday by Wednesday night if you're going to do it. And, um, and we look forward to having you join us. So see you on Thursday morning. So do you know how to sign out of it? <laughs>